What's up with you guys? It is your boy, West Coast. So, yo, man, your quarterback, Dak Prescott, today was 23 of 30, 256 yards, three touchdowns, two costly interceptions, and he was dropped three times. I'm going to tell you this right now, man. The relationship between a quarterback and a offensive a offensive coordinator is supposed to be symbiotic. They're supposed to be able to work together and help each other out. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I can almost tell you this right now that Dak Prescott and Kellen Moore are they are definitely a bad couple because they do not complement each other. Kellen Moore is an offensive coordinator that wants a quarterback who can throw the ball, you know, 30 plus times and be able to uh, dictate an offense by way of the passing game. Where now is in Dak Prescott, he is a quarterback that we can all see clearly is better when he is only required to throw the ball between 24, 24, 25, 26 times. Nothing really more than that. You know what I'm saying? And for whatever reason, man, the Dallas Cowboys in this offensive coordinator between Kellen Moore keeps putting Dak Prescott in positions where he's being required to throw the ball more. Now, today, again, we lost a game the exact same way we lost um, the Green Bay Packer game. And what is that? We got up, had a large, had a large, um, had a large, um, we had a large lead and then decided to abandon the run and literally just start throwing the ball all over the place. There was absolutely no reason for Kellen Moore to call all those run play, I mean those pass plays, especially, especially on that third and ten. It just made absolutely no sense. You want to put this um, offense in a position where they're making the opposing defense use their timeouts. But for whatever reason, Kellen Moore calls two run plays, which made Jacksonville call their first timeout, their first two timeouts. Then on third and ten, when they only have one more timeout, he requires Dak Prescott to throw an out route deep down the field, which stops the clock and they didn't even have to use the timeout. It just makes no sense, man. Dak Prescott and Kellen Moore are the odd couple of the NFL. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, it's, it, I'm gonna keep, it, it almost feels like, like one person gets one in trouble, then the other person has to save them. One person gets the other one in trouble, then the other person has to save them. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, man, Dak Prescott puts these games away for Kellen Moore, and then his play calling literally just unravels it the exact same way that it happened in the Green Bay game. This is the second time uh, that um, the Dallas Cowboys have lost a game having multiple double-digit. We had a, you had a double-digit win in this game and in the Green Bay Packer game, and you lose both going into the fourth quarter. You had a double lead. You had a lead going into the fourth quarter. Whatever reason, the Cowboys decide not to um, run the ball and end this game. They continue to throw the ball, which is from what we've seen, what Kellen Moore wants to do. You guys let me know in the comment box what are y'all thoughts. You guys already know what it is. Never look down because stars up.